Today we're planting zucchini, squash, and pumpkin in these four inch pots. Okay guys, so I'm starting these zucchini about four weeks before I put before I put them outside. I'm gonna grow them outside. So I've got this pot, it's a four inch pot, and the reason I use a four inch pot is because in four weeks, these seeds will fill out this pot, the, the root system will fill out this pot perfectly. If I use something smaller, uh, say one of these six pack trays, the root system would fill that out too quick and I'd have to pot it up. And I don't wanna pot it, I only wanna pot it out, I don't wanna pot it up into another pot. So I would take a seed, and you can see how I've also tagged this one. I like to tag my, my seeds before I put them in. I've done it before where I put a bunch of seeds in pots and then forgot which seeds I put in which pots. And all you do is I put the, uh, the pointy side down and I just press it in like, and then I just press it in about an inch deep. I just go up to my first knuckle and we'll just go in right there, about an inch deep. One, two. And now the reason I'm doing two is because if one germinates and one doesn't, this pot will be successful. We, we will be able to successfully pot it out. So guys, now these are warm weather seeds. Something I want to tell you about this is right now it's 80 degrees in our greenhouse. So I brought these seeds outside at nighttime. I'm bringing them in because it gets colder here. It's, it's about gets down to about eight degrees at night or so 10 degrees in here. So I bring these seeds in so they germinate and these will germinate from seven to 14 days if you do this right. This is what it looks like when it germinates. You can see two seeds have germinated, they've come up. When they get a little bit bigger, I'm gonna cut one of these out because I only want one of the plants. And this is what it looks like. This this uh, this is a zucchini that was started uh, four weeks ago. That We're gonna plant this somewhere outside under cover early. We're gonna, just, just for an experiment, we're gonna start it early. And I'm gonna show you what you're looking for before you plant it out. These are, these are the first leaves that emerge but they're not the the true leaves the true leaves are is this one one two and three after about the third leaf has emerged these plants are ready to go out the other thing you look for is you can see lots of roots coming in so i don't want this plant to get pot bound if it gets pot bound and this fills with roots it might start creating flowers and stuff we don't want it to create flowers in here we just want it to establish its root growth so that this will transplant out this is now four weeks old we're going to put it outside under cover, like I said, because it's going to still need a little bit of, it's going to need more warmth than, than what's outside right now. Hey guys, so if you get, when you get the timing right, you put it outside at the right time when it's warm enough at night and the soil's warm enough, you're going to be eating this from two, in about two to three months. You'll know it's ready when the stem starts to get a little bit dark and, and the fruit, like the squash or the pumpkin gets big enough and it'll be the right color. Okay, so now it's time to transplant your zucchini and this could be the same for the squash or the pumpkin, but we're doing a zucchini here. I'm gonna plant it in this hole. And I'll just tell you, we don't till our soil and we don't, we don't fork it or anything. So when I make holes for plants like this, I just make them slightly larger than the actual plant. Okay. And then to get the plant out, I've already taken this plant out. I'm just gonna loosen it up by flipping it upside down and then letting it out. I'm just gonna loosen up the roots a little bit so that they can spread out. And then I'd get a little bit of 686 fertilizer and mix it in the hole. I'd say probably put about a half a, half a handful. And I'm just gonna spread it around because that 686, it's natural, it's organic. It's gonna feed this plant slowly over time and give it the nutrients it needs to really grow. So you got your fertilizer, of your hole and I'm just going to plant it right to about the same depth as it was in the pot. Now it's the end of April it's a little bit early for this plant to grow so what I've done is I've created a little greenhouse and this greenhouse will protect it from any cold weather at night. The plant really doesn't like it to get any colder than about 10 degrees and it's been getting down to about 8 so this will give it the extra couple degrees warmth that this plant will need. So I'm just going to put it over there making sure not to squish any leaves. I'm gonna leave it like that overnight, and then during the day, I'll just take it off.
So I just want to add something. The zucchini, a zucchini grows in the ground. I do not train it up a trellis. A zucchini gets quite big, three feet by three feet. This is a squash, this is a pumpkin. If we grew these on the ground, they would take three feet up, three feet. There's not enough room in this greenhouse. So the way we grow these differently is I'm gonna put a string up here. I'm gonna train this up a single stem up. It's two feet apart from the pumpkin. It's gonna have a, it's gonna have a, a rope in the corner and it's gonna go up there. So one plant up there, one plant two feet right up here. 